What's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing really well. Welcome back to the game at Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. Um, we'll just go for... What were you actually doing? What were you actually doing before you picked me up from the airport? What do you mean? You gave May a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here. A non-answer? Yeah, because I went to the police station. And? And they're still going through the evidence. And when they found out I was May's cousin, they started laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So I went to check out the Hathorne house myself, but I never went inside. The ghost? What? No, there was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. It was totally creepy. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything? Anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorne House estate. I found his office, but he kinda never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. I know him. Not well but enough to get through his door and have a conversation. All right, are we going into town or what? Sure. Who could gain something by burning down a house? Insurance claim, maybe? Possibly. Means, motive, and opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in your experience? It's usually something much more personal. Okay, can we leave the conversation without having to go through all of these things? Okay, right, so um, that was just the stuff about the tour. So let's go through here. Um, we can speak to her. Is there anything I can like interact with here? Maybe, maybe we could. Oh, I can actually like go up the stairs. That's kind of cool. Is this a guest bedroom where I am like staying? Nice candle. Huh? huh? What do you mean, huh? It's just a candle. Do you think the... No, okay, I guess it can't um, go into, uh, into other people's rooms. Should we try and speak to her? Um, nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, she looks like she's got like a burn or something on her face, but those leggings, I really, really like. Um, do you mind if I look around the house? Do you mind if I look around the house? Ugh, you're so weird. I'm done talking, okay? Freaking rude. I'm here to try and help ya. Um, okay, so I get- this looks really peculiar. Pe Rust be gone. Now that's handy. Sweat. Never know when a bit of stubborn iron oxide will get in the way of investigating. So, okay, I'm just gonna take your stuff from your home. Okay, is that a picture of Audrey Hepburn? Um... The Perrys recycle their paper waste. Good on them. Wait, what's this? Someone must have been upset. They tore this note up. Uh, okay. Do I get to put them out? Um, use rip letter. Um, talk to Tegan at the museum. Okay, how do I... Oh, like this. Okay, so let me... Um, okay, right. Let's put together this note. It's like Black Mirror all over again. <laughs> but why tear it up like this? Okay, creepy message. Because it just says on it that they know. Um, okay, so I have that. Let's just uh, turn about. And I guess what we will do now is maybe we could just like leave and go to the museum straight away. Oh, hi, hi Ned. Hi. Ned, how have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry, I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Nance. Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, Crime doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on! Yeah, one second. Sounds like you're having fun. Uh, you know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nance. 
I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was... Yeah. Okay. Um, can we turn about... Oh my goodness, she is like literally right there. Right in my face. What is this? A leopard print lighter. Why here? Better hang on to this. That's totally maze, and that is such a cool pumpkin carving. Can I have a look at it? Okay, right. I guess what we do is just um, we'll just go to the car. Oh my God, she is literally just right there on you. Okay, she is right behind. <laughs> Talk about following close. Oh wow, okay, so there's like petitions and stuff going on there. Do we go... Okay. Visitors, by now you know the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. The she truth is, is magician? witches are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual. Mystery. Magic. Sweet. Most exist now only in secret. And they may be standing among you even now. It is said that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. So cool. <gasps> How did you do that? Thank you. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the Witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless dead. The thief in Austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? visiting a spooky old castle, but you'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. Okay, right. Um, hey Nancy. Um, are you also welcome to come by? We're on the opposite side of the town square. Um, okay. We're just going in. <laughs> Everyone's like protesting outside and we're just gonna go in. Um, okay, right. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Yes, can I help you? Of course. Hi, sorry to bother you, but we were looking for Judge Danforth's office. Just across the hall. Why? What did you two girls do? We didn't do. I'm kidding. Alicia Cole, Esquire. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew, and this is Deirdre Shannon. You're a lawyer. Salem's best. The only practicing lawyer in the historic town limits, if you could believe it. And if you girls were in any trouble, I'd have no problem representing you. You both have that innocent look. Juries love it. So you're saying we could get away with a crime? We? No? Partners in crime? Sorry to bother you, Miss Cole. We'll check in with the judge. Have a good evening. Hello? Judge Danforth. Yeah, hello. Ted, is that you? Ted? Um, no, Your Honor. My name is Nancy Drew. I think you've spoken with my father. Nancy Drew? Carson's daughter? Yes, and I'm with my friend Deirdre Shannon. We're investigating the arson of the Hathorn House. Ah, yes, yes. Can we come in? Well, you see, no, I mean, I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked in my office, and I, uh, I need some help getting out. 
Okay, um, I guess that we could go and speak to the other person, so I'll just say we'll come, back. come back. later. Okay, right, so I can go and get the key now, so I guess it's one of those things where you have to do this. Yes. Can I help you? He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Great. Unbelievable. Does this ever end? Oh, well then, do you have a paper clip? Yeah, and if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? We're helping the judge with a case. Anything I can assist you with? Thanks, but I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least, not yet. Not yet. We need one for me, apparently. <laughs> okay, right. Let's use this paper Judge Danforth? I couldn't find your key. What? Uh, Alicia said she'd keep a copy for me. Well... I did find a paper clip. I think I can pick your luck, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure, fine. This shouldn't be. Oh too much my of a goodness! Challenge. Are you joking? How do I do this? How do I do this? Hold to drag pin, fill for the pin that gives resistance, release when the pin locks in place. Oh okay, so that one gave resistance. She is just, she just appears like nobody's business. Can I have a look on his desk? Ah, those Testers are out there again, stirring the pot. You know, this town used to be a quiet place, but it seems lately there's been an element that has infiltrated our community. I have no doubt one of those troublemakers locked my door and threw away the key. Now, Nancy, your father and I have discussed. Oh, sorry, I'm not Nancy. Of course you're not. You look nothing like Carson. Did your father ever tell you about the time we won fourth place at the Lake Winnipesaukee Regatta? <laughs> you see, at the time I had 2010 vision, so I was the navigator and... Judge, this is Deirdre Shannon. She's working with me on the case. Deirdre, you're the one who tried to break down my door. Break down? Your Honor, that's an exaggeration. I was knocking. Heavily. Look, I'm really busy. Dealing with this Hathorne house business. Uh, being a judge is not as simple as, uh, you know, investigating during your free time. Well, we just used our free time to unlock your door. So I'm sure you'll be willing to repay us with some answers to our questions. Right? <clears throat> yes, of course. What can I help you girls with? Gotcha. Um, talk to you later. Uh, burning uh, info. Okay, we'll try the burning of the house. I was told that the burning of Hathorn House is suspected to be a case of arson. How did the police come to that conclusion? The investigation found paint solvent residue on burnt embers, suggesting someone deliberately used an accelerant. Thankfully, Mrs. Tuttle never had to see what became of her home. And what evidence do you have that May Perry is the one responsible for this? Evidence? Have you ever heard of recidivism? Three out of four criminals in the United States are repeat offenders. And there's only one person in all of Salem who has a history of fire-related crime. So, there is no evidence? Not yet, but there will be. You don't need evidence. She's already been convicted in the court of public opinion. Is that what she said? No, I'm saying it. She has a history with this sort of thing. What's May's motive? What does she gain by burning down the Hathorn house? You'd have to ask her. And while you're at it, you can ask about her alibi, which she refused to give to the police. So, any other questions? Okay, so um, he mentioned about the person for the house that had passed away and it had no like legal air or this that or the other so let's um do, 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 do. this is like coming up with i took this because i was trying to figure out a way to 
open that desk, but we don't need that. So I'll just delete that. Um, I don't need that either. Let's just go forward. And I guess we will just uh, leave. Okay, right. Oh my god, there's a gift shop. There's a gift shop. Let's take... Um, let's speak to this woman and see if we can... Hey. Sorry about the mess. We're in the middle of installing a big showcase. So what have you seen in town so far? We decided to do the real witches tour. Oh, oh halfway. You talk to Olivia. What's with her getup? Witch? Street magician, maybe? Everyone has to make a living. Is she telling the story about a coven living here in the recent past? Yeah. Why? Just bad taste. Olivia is quite the local character. I hope you don't mind if we do the tour. I want to see more of the town, and finding out a place's old superstitions is kind of a habit I've gotten into. I'm excited to look around the museum. Of course. Okay. Right, sorry. That was uh, Tegan. She's actually the woman that we're staying at the house of. Oh, she looks so similar to her, though. They look very, very similar. Um... Okay, so I got a tour ticket. My phone has this really weird thing on it. I don't know if there's like, um, maybe we're supposed to love you. Okay. Um, Carson, love you, kiddo. Talk to you later. Okay, so that's, um, our, our dad. Why don't we call him dad? It's a bit weird. Oh, okay, so now that's gone. Can I close Closed it here? Looks like they're preparing a new <laughs> installation. $25 for adults, 17 um, member. oh my god, students, 12, children under 12 are free, $25? How big is this museum? Okay, right, seeing as we have the ticket, oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't seem to leave. How do I go? How about leaving? Right, anyway, let's uh, go this way and oh wait can I have a look at this no postcards postcards right let's leave and I guess we'll just go on this tour uh oh here comes trouble me never well nothing too bad I hope did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum ginger hair was the sign of a witch you're my kind of people I'm not nearly as talented as you are Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> Anyway, what can I help you with? Okay, so maybe we just have to go and maybe we have to put this tablet on stuff. I'm thinking, um, wait, this that's slightly irritating. Okay, so there's the fence on the road. Maybe we can use this here. Oh, there, watch your step. In recent years, these maws into the deep unknown have opened. There was once a vast network of tunnels beneath Salem, used by smugglers during the Prohibition era. Most would have you believe that these tunnels are now collapsing. But you have to wonder if there could be something more sinister behind these sudden maws into the underworld. Okay, right. I honestly thought it was going to be like a proper, like a proper, proper tour. Okay, I can use another woman. The Salem Museum, known formerly as the Town Hall. Not only a great resource for the Salem Witch Trials, it also holds records of other interesting facets of our local history. Anyone visiting Salem does well to seek out the forbidden knowledge hidden in these halls. Okay, dokie, let's leave this place and... I don't really know, wait, is this a graveyard? Can I go in here? Yes! Is there anything to use? 
I mean, there's got to be something in here, right? Maybe the tree. Oh, this grave over here looks really fancy. She is just so, so freaking close. Before you stands Abigail Hathorne, helping the accused witches escape the grasp of her own brother, Judge Hathorne himself. Abigail freed many from their holding cells until the judge caught her in the act and locked her up in a cell deep within the Hathorne house. The statue was given the name Little Liberty in honor of her valiant efforts to free the innocent. Oh my god, look at this! A w. This is the same marking as in Mosam Castle. What a strange coincidence. Okay, all right, let's um go this way is there another wait let me go this way i want to know if i can go no i can't go over there okay maybe i just have to turn around is there anything else any other place that we can go okay i can go this way actually um there is like this thing here that nope okay can't do that one there is also this though, which I don't- Oh, I can do this as well. Through these woods lies the infamous Hathorn Estate. It was common during the Salem Witch Trials that the lands of the accused were taken and resold for cheap. The judge himself bought many such lands, and on them built his grand estate. The Hathorn House has since come to represent all the wrongs that were inflicted during the trials. Okay, there's actually this thing here. If you right click on the tablet, which I didn't know because I don't know whether it told me or not, or I wasn't paying attention. But you can actually right click on it and it tells you things. So the one that we're missing is the accused witch's memorial. Um, and I think that that is inside the museum. So we'll go there and we'll get that one. Another one I was actually missing was the plaque in here. Um, but that was. Uh, I done that one by accident. The one thing I don't like about this game, I will say, is the fact that the kind of like the angles and the clicking of the being able to turn. Genie. Okay. It was a time of horror when the witches who walked the earth were wrongfully prosecuted and thus stripped of everything. These are the ghosts you'll find here in Salem. Their homes taken. Their knowledge destroyed, their lives erased. Okay, I'm officially exhausted. Okay, right. So we have done the tour, so we have to go and speak to her. I don't know where she would be. Whether she is like here at all. Okay, so now we need to try talking to May. I think what I'm going to do though is for this second video I'm going to leave this episode here. Like I said the only thing that is slightly irritating me is the clicks and it's just like I can't seem to sometimes get it to go where I want to go on like the first couple of clicks which is slightly annoying but overall I'm really enjoying this game. I think it is pretty cool. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well so I think what we have to do is to just leave. So yeah thank you all so so much for watching. Hit the like button, leave comments down below. Below. do not forget to subscribe if you are new remember to always let me know if there are any games that you want me to check out or whatnot and i will try my best to do so but until the next video take care bye